Nobody is coming to save you. Nobody. Nobody can save you except you. You have to be your own hero. I saw a reel on Instagram a long time ago. I think it was Chris Williamson. He has a, a YouTube channel. And I'm not sure if it was his quote or he was quoting someone else, but he said, pretend you're in a movie and you're the hero of the movie. What would you do next? You have to save yourself. And when you realize that your success depends only on you, that is empowering because if it depends only on you, then you can take the steps in order to succeed. As a concrete example, let's say you have a job where you work on a team. Most, most jobs where you work on teams, decisions are team efforts. So sure, you have some type of input, but it's not just you. You can't make all the decisions. You can't call all the shots. That's just not how it works. But in your life, you can call the shots. You can make the decisions and you can choose to be your own hero. You can choose to save yourself. So as dark as it sounds, as terrible as it sounds that no one is going to save you, it's also empowering because you have the ability to save yourself. If, if that seems overwhelming and it doesn't seem helpful, realize that you just have to take baby steps, one step at a time. Uh, let's say you're trying to learn mathematics. This is a math channel after all. I post mostly math content on here and some other stuff as well, but let, let's say you're trying to learn math. What's, what's the best way to do that? How can you save yourself from failing? Well, it's actually pretty simple. The steps are easy. It's the execution that is hard. You actually have to do it. You get up early every single day, and the first thing you do after you have your coffee or whatever is do some mathematics, even just 10 minutes a day. And this applies to everything, by the way, not just mathematics. Whatever you are trying to do in life, if you do it every day, you are slowly, incrementally going to get better. <laughs> and, and one of the things, and this is not a complaint, but it's just a, a statement, because I've seen this again and again, is that People think they have to have all the answers before they get started. So if you're sitting there thinking, oh, you know, my life sucks, I'm failing my class, I don't know what to do, this video is telling me that I need to save myself. It's true. You do need to save yourself. It is totally up to you. And you don't have to have all the answers right away. You just need to get started. Okay, you just need to get started. A lot of times people will look at something and they'll say, okay, I have to learn calculus or I have to get the skills I need in order to apply for this job or I want to have, you know, six pack abs or I want to have bigger biceps or, you know, whatever it is, whatever goal you're trying to achieve in life. And you look at the steps and you say, well, I know how to get started, but I don't know what I'm going to do once I get there. So it's really easy to plan and over plan. And as a mathematics channel, I feel like, uh, the IQ level <laughs> of the viewership of this channel is probably pretty high. And I think that as people who tend to think about things pretty hard, we tend to overthink. And so stop overthinking, stop acting, get out there and save yourself and be your own hero. You don't need someone to save you because you are stronger than you think. You're probably a lot smarter than you think. And I say this only from personal experience, from teaching for years, from having hundreds of students, thousands. You know, you get a class of 30 students and they come in, they're motivated, they take the first test. Some of them do really well, some of them don't do so well. And then you start to see the talent and you realize that most of them are actually pretty talented, even the ones that didn't do well. They still have the ability to learn mathematics. They still have the ability to succeed. I used to have a student, he was a really 
really fun guy. If he's watching this, hello. I, I won't say his name. Uh, and he was from Jamaica. And he used to say, a C means that you know 70% of the material. Well, why is that so bad? And if you think about it, mathematics is hard, right? So if, if you can learn 70% of the material, that's pretty good. My point is, you can succeed and you can learn on your own and become amazing. You don't need someone to save you, okay? You're stronger than you think. You are. You're probably a lot smarter than you think. I've taught hundreds of students over the years in a college setting and I've seen, I've seen talent. I've seen what people can do. I've seen people rise from the ashes like a phoenix and conquer mathematics. I've seen them get jobs. I've seen them get degrees. I've seen them become doctors, okay? People who were in my Calculus One class, some of them are doctors now, right? They have medical degrees. They're helping patients. They're saving people's lives, right? They were their own heroes. Sure, you can get some help along the way, but when it comes to hard things in life, if you want to guarantee success, don't count on anyone else. Count on yourself. Okay? You have to earn everything that is coming to you by working hard. And don't just rely on other people to give it to you because what if they don't, right? Nobody is coming to save you. Save yourself. Be your own hero. Take ownership. Take ownership. Don't blame other people for your failures. Just take ownership. Life is kind of like solving a math problem. You have all the tools in front of you. You just have to put in the work. So start putting in the work. Stop being afraid. Jump into it and turn your life around. You can do it. You'll find that as you start to get better, as you start getting these little small victories, you know, you start getting better at math, you start becoming a faster runner, you start becoming better at computer programming, whatever it is you're trying to do, you will find that the better you get, the more you enjoy that thing and the easier it becomes to learn new things. That's because people like what they're good at. If you take a math test and you get a good grade, you're gonna feel good about that class, right? Even if you never liked math before, if you take a college algebra test and you get an A, you're gonna feel like a rock star and it's going to empower you and that's when the real talent comes out. That's when you really see your ability because you're motivated, right? People always ask me, what's, what's the best time to study or what's the best time to focus on improving yourself? And I always say the morning is the best time but the real answer is the best time to work is when you're motivated. Now, we don't always have motivation, right? So you can't rely on that. That's why I always say it's better to have a routine, get up early, you know, grind every day. But it's also important to work when you're motivated. And when you have these little small victories, when you start relying on yourself and you start seeing some results, that is going to empower you and it is going to make you want to work harder and you will work harder and it's just like a snowball, right? You learn a little bit, you're rewarded. Hey, I'm really good at this. You learn a little bit more. Hey, I'm even better and it just keeps going, right? Success creates success. The really hard thing, and, and this is gonna strike a chord with some of you maybe, but the really hard thing is when you're in like the pits, when you're failing, when everything seems bad and you don't even have that success. You don't have any success. It feels like you have nothing. You have to have something. You need it. You need to get that small win and that's what's gonna get you going. And if you don't have it yet, just believe me, you can get it. Believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself, I mean, the most important person that needs to believe in you is you. Kind of a rant video and it was unplanned. I didn't really think I would make it, but I thought I would put it out there because I feel like a lot of people are stuck. You know, they're trying to improve their lives and they feel like they can't do it because they don't have the resources or the help they need. But the reality is, sure, those resources help. It's really good to have 
a network and support. But at the end of the day, at the very end of the day, all you have is you. And you need to rely on yourself for your success. Nobody is coming to save you. I mean, someone might, right? Someone might come save you. But why would you rely on someone else when you can rely on yourself, become stronger, become invincible? And you'll see that you can do anything in life. I mean it. I have seen people, again, rise from the ashes. Students barely, barely, students who can barely solve an equation. They're doctors now, right? You can do anything. Anyways, I've talked a lot. If you have any advice for people on this topic or anything else or any interesting stories to share, leave a comment in the comment section below. As always, subscribe, like, share, all that stuff if you want. And I do have some math courses. They're on the Udemy platform, which is a reputable place to have courses. So if you get them, please use my links in the description of this video or from my website, mathsorcerer.com. Two reasons. One, it helps me greatly, and I've lowered the price. But the really big thing you should take away from this video is, is not my math courses and not whether or not you should subscribe. It's that you really need to be in charge of your own life, okay? Nobody is coming to save you. Remember that, right? Nobody. It's up to you to make success happen in your life. Stop making excuses. We all do it, but don't do it. Don't make excuses. Get to work right now. Now go do some math.